Allie, well, it won't be long before we have two professional sports teams calling Las Vegas home. Well, one thing we'll never see are the Raiders taking on the Golden Knights. Well, tonight they faced off on neutral ground at the Las Vegas ballpark. The friendly softball game was all for a good cause. John Treach was at the battle for Vegas, and John, you had some battle wounds yourself. I'm fine, Sasha. As for the seat of my <laughs> pants that ripped wide open on the gate of Las Vegas ballpark, well, that's a different story. But I digress. In 2016, there were no Vegas Golden Knights, Las Vegas Raiders, or Las Vegas Ballpark. Yet tonight's charity showdown raised $136,000 for cancer care in front of a sold-out stadium. Holy freaking sports city. The stands were packed with a purpose, and the pitches were pummeled. The inaugural battle for Vegas softball tournament was a soaring hit. It felt like a Golden Knights game with a splash of summer and Raider renegade vibe. It got loud when players were introduced, respectful when cancer survivors were announced, and patriotic for the Air Force flyover. The Golden Knights and Raiders couldn't help but be amazed. You, you know, you almost, after two years, expect uh, a building like this to sell out. and. Uh, you know, like I said, it's for a great cause, and uh, the community of Vegas is uh, right behind everyone. I mean, the fans are just, just great. And I think the uh, younger Raider players realize that uh, they're coming to a special place. I mean, these people embrace them. They're going to love it. It was awesome. It was a great event, well organized, and, uh, I mean, it was super fun for everyone, too. Uh, I would do it every year for sure. The Raiders won the game, but the Tyler Robinson Foundation was truly victorious as cancer-stricken kids and their families get over $130,000 to help the fight. Darlene Melendez was also at the stadium and has the pulse of the people. Darlene. Hey there, John. Well, unlike you, I left this game with, uh, without any battle wounds whatsoever. So thankfully, we are all okay here. Uh, but the Raiders won this round, as you said. But for all of the fans that I talked to, they said that it was truly all of Las Vegas that took home that W tonight. Thousands of fans filled the Las Vegas ballpark Saturday for a game of softball. The players traded in the puck and the football for a bat and a ball. On the field, we had the Golden Knights against the Raiders. A lot of times you see athletes, they're good at their sport, and then all of a sudden they can't throw. <laughs> so it would be fun. It would be a good time. It was a good time to cheer on our Vegas-born team. Just hanging out with the family and hopefully kicking some Raider butt. Well, I don't know who's going to win, but I know who I'm rooting for. <laughs> the Knights. Go, Knights, go! But a chance to show the new guys some love, too. Oh, either way I win, because both my teams are here, but we'll see. It's a chance to root for both teams at the same time. Nobody's got shirts like this. On the front, on the back, we are representing. I want a high-scoring game, and go Vegas, go Raiders, go Knights. The Raiders ended up winning the first ever Battle for Vegas charity softball game, but with the money raised going to charity, everyone was a winner this time. Any way you can give back is important. I see that the Knights do a lot of things like that, so I think the Raiders will come to town and they'll do the same thing. It's a win-win for everybody. If this was an annual event, this would be like a, something great that they could just keep doing every, bring the community in. And again, uh, tonight was all for a good cause. The proceeds from tonight's game benefited the Tyler Robinson Foundation, uh, which is a foundation founded by one of the members of Imagine Dragons, and that uh, foundation helps families of children with cancer. So again, everyone here tonight was truly a winner. Reporting live from the Las Vegas Ballpark, Darlene Melendez, 8 News Now.